Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube land, it's your boy Tuglo, and today we are going to talk about the new dolls that have released already, and then their rate up will be this upcoming weekend on, I believe, what should be the 8th and 9th of June. So let's go ahead and start talking about these dolls. Let's just jump right into it. The first doll that we have here is going to be K2, aka the Brown Suomi, a five star ART doll. Her buff is going to be if she's standing on tile five, she's going to buff tiles nine and three she will give a damage by 25 percent and an accuracy by 50 percent uh now that would be a buff you know if you're looking for buffing shrimp if you're looking at buffing a cms uh it would be more towards people or smgs like that however if you're looking to buff like you know your main tank that's not really going to be the most ideal buff to give them of course you want to give them invasion and accuracy but a little bit of damage ain't ever gonna hurt nobody as well as some accuracy let's go ahead and jump into her skill and this is going to be a little bit on the eh, side uh, it's called overheat and at level 10 this is gonna be at level 10 her initial cooldown is gonna be eight seconds and it's gonna have a cooldown of three seconds so attack mode can be switched in battle by pressing the skill button fever mode which is your default mode burst mode uh deal three hits for 52 percent damage each hit and increase your heat by one per attack so one shot one animation is going to hit three times those three shots are going to be dealing 52 percent damage per hit then it will increase our heat by one attack so one animation my heat goes up by one okay when the heat is over 15 the current heat stack will reduce accuracy and damage by two percent per heat value at a maximum of 20 stacks so you never want to get overheated if you get to a particular sweet spot i'm not gonna claim to know this sweet spot i don't even have k2 to try and i'm sure somebody else knows the sweet spot i don't know this sweet spot but there potentially could be a sweet spot where once you get to this number you turn it to her next mode that we're going to talk about and that's going to be the single shot mode it decreases your movement speed and evasion by 40 percent each attack will reduce your heat by one Consecutive attacks on the same target will increase damage by 5% per attack up to a maximum of 10 stacks. Now, I could see K2, uh, in theory, being a potential boss killer if you don't have to move around a lot. You know, let's say, for instance, uh, you're able to move her while she's in the burst mode. Uh, for whatever gimmick that the boss may have so you move her while she's in boss mode and then uh, whenever she doesn't have to move again throw her to your note mode or your single shot mode so that way you can decrease your heat now if you don't use her in a boss uh, killing team because you have multiple other dolls that could do way better without having to use this gimmick and kite around this gimmick then you can put her into a you know random killing you know mob team so she can not have to worry about moving and evading because she does get slowed so basically here with this t doll k2 uh, i feel like she is 100 percent you know very gorgeous looking waifu even though she's the brown soul me i feel like she just looks way better uh so aside from the looks and the waifu of course uh, i i feel like her skill is very interesting i love her skill and the interactivity of her skill if you leave her sitting there she's just gonna burn out and she's just gonna deal less damage as time goes on however if you find a sweet spot or if someone knows a sweet spot feel free to comment down below in the comment section what the sweet spot is of saying hey when she gets to 11 stacks switch over to her single mode to her single shot then when she gets to you know let's say like five stacks switch it back to the burst mode and let it go to 11 you know it could be something like that but i feel like k2 her interactivity with the fighting is extremely uh enticing it's attractive to me because it doesn't make me just be like okay well you know afk the fight okay you know i'm gonna go do this over here i'm gonna go do that over there 
I really do like K2 a lot, uh, even aside from the waifu uh, perspective. Uh, I do like her a lot. She does have the damage of the A, the accuracy of the S. The evasion at B doesn't really matter too much to me. The rate of fire at A is good. The HP at A is good. And then the growth potential of A is solid as well. Overall, I think K2 is going to be a poppin' type of t -doll, And I really do like what I'm seeing from her next is going to be 64 shiki she's got an s tier damage s tier accuracy c tier evasion don't care about that uh c tier rate of fire okay i kind of do care about that a tier hp and then ss growth if she is standing in spot five she will buff spots six and three and then she'll give those smgs damage and evasion i do like that a lot of course i love the evasion on my tanks her skill is going to be four warning at level 10 initial cooldown of five seconds a normal cooldown of 16 seconds so we're gonna to have to take this in parts again like we did with k2s if there are more than five groups of enemies on the battlefield upon skill activation increase your rate of fire and accuracy by 80 percent for three seconds if you've got five or more otherwise so meaning four or less increase your damage by 90 percent for three seconds okay so after this first initial part is done if you have five or more or four or less after you get that first buff you'll then get a second buff after three seconds if there are more than two groups of enemies on the battlefield okay grant a 25 hp shield to allies situated on her tiles so ideally your two tanks so you'll give your hp shield to these two people of whoever they are now it just says of allies sitting there it in theory uh, if i'm understanding correctly you know if you have a handgun sitting there they'll get the 25 hp shield if you got a shotgun sitting there they'll get the hp shield so it, in theory it doesn't necessarily have to be a smg but of course if you want to take advantage of the tile buff it does have to be the smg Okay, so uh, now we'll get 25 HP shield to allies situated on her tiles for 5 seconds. Otherwise, so meaning if there's only one enemy group left, increase the damage on herself and allies situated on her tiles by 55% for 5 seconds. So basically, if she's in a, in a field of a lot of mobs, she's going to get the accuracy and the, the rate of fire in order to take care of them. If she if there's not a lot of mobs she's gonna get the damage to take care of them if after three seconds they're still alive and let's say there's only let's say a boss left or one dude left all right they're gonna get mowed down very quickly however if there's more than just you know two or more groups of of mobs there you know let's say it's a and a boss on top of you know extra mobs that come in on the back i don't know i'm just making this up then of course we'll get that hp shield however if it's just that boss alone in this sense then we're going to get the ability to mow them down even further because we'll get that increased damage now uh do i think 64 shiki is good i think she has potential to be good you put her in the right situation i think she'll be fantastic uh one thing that i could see her doing maybe not so much uh being in a boss killing team because like i said we've got a plenty of boss killing units i feel like she could do pretty decently uh against a lot of mobs man you know you get that a hey, five groups or more we're already hitting like a truck we're already really good on our accuracy you give me the rate of fire by 80 percent on top of even more accuracy for three seconds i think we're gonna be blowing kids up and then if you give her more accurate or excuse me you give her more uh, damage or if you give her more rate of fire i think she can do a lot of damage against the trash mobs during ranking events and i think she's gonna be a very very good unit uh in my opinion moving on to our next one is gonna be jericho a damage a accuracy b evasion a rate of fire a hp and b for growth uh her tile buffs are actually going to be very very interesting she increases her the damage and the accuracy and if she's standing in spot five she's going to buff uh four seven six and nine and this is going to be very very intriguing she's one of the dolls that i'm looking forward to hopefully trying to pull over time her skill is going to be crimson eclipse the active portion says increased damage of 
allies situated on our tiles by 15 percent for eight seconds again situated on the tiles meaning anybody can be moving back and forth and then whoever's on those tiles are going to be the ones getting the buffs or she could be the one moving back and forth and wherever her skill lands those are the people that get the buff the passive says whenever an ally is situated on her tiles reload increase their damage and accuracy by five percent for 15 seconds with a maximum of three stacks now imagine if we had her for the big garm in the ranking event for deep dive she would be she'd be popping uh, i'd like to assume she'd be popping because for the most part you're never really gonna have a lot of time for your machine gun to sit around and reload now of course depending on the mobs they could easily have to reload but uh this is definitely a handgun that is going to be 100 percent for a machine gun shotgun team or a machine gun handgun shotgun team by all means just for the sheer fact of her passive is when they reload you increase that damage and then the accuracy as well and you get stacks of it so by all means it's a very very good uh for the you know machine gun shotgun team but you could also argue you've got other dolls that you could put in there but by all means i think jericho getting at least one of her is going to be pretty strong spra3g is a four star rifle that we can be getting as well a damage a accuracy c evasion b rate of fire b health and then s tier growth she's going to give those handguns the uh reduced of their skill cd by 15 percent and then her ability is going to be called arrogance she's going to mark the target for five seconds after aiming for 1.5 seconds shoot the marked target for 5.5 damage if the target dies while marked increase your rate of fire by 25 percent for five seconds now of course you know if if you can get her into a team where she's just turning around and just killing some trash mobs and you've got a lot of trash mobs for whatever odd reason or manticores or something throwing her on that team by all means in theory could be very good just because if she kills somebody then she's gonna get some more damage right after that with that increased rate of fire uh, i don't think she's somebody that you should go out of your way for except for waifu purposes uh to go in and obtain or acquire her let her come over time uh, by all means you know she's got a cool ability but i think we've just got better rifles to look for or to be using at this point in time m14 lee iws uh, grape strawberry uh, watch on svd i think we could be using those rifles by all means but if you're looking for non-meta type of units a hey, figure out a team for sp r a 3 g and should do you good the next one is going to be k11 k11 is going to have an a damage a accuracy c evasion a rate of fire a health s tier growth i do like the way her buff is i really like that one a lot and then she's also going to be giving 20 percent damage and 15 percent evasion to my smgs which is awesome her skill is extremely interesting though she's gonna launch grenades based on the number of dummies that deal four times damage to enemies within a radius of one yard enemies hit by a grenade are marked for three seconds further grenade hits on marked enemies deal an additional two times damage so basically you got five dummies and they're put into a triangle position all right a triangular position so the first dummy is going to shoot a grenade and let's say it hits over here the second one hits over here the third one hits here if it's in that one yard radius and hits either one of these enemies and they're somehow alive it's going to deal extra damage so it's not just like fal where the first one is the one that shoots three of them it's each dummy takes one shot and if the dummies somehow kind of encircle another person's shot then they're going to deal extra damage to that one so k11 is very interesting i feel like she could do fat damages uh, onto a lot of units uh but the, you know somebody brought up the uh speculation could she be in there for zero two that's a great speculation i have no idea i think she potentially could be but uh sticking with the tried and true g11 you know all those people definitely nothing wrong there if i get k11 i'd love to test it out i'd love to try it see what she could do but uh off the top of my head i don't know what she can do as far as zero two is concerned taking a look at our last unit is going to be tac 50 we'll get her from this 
the Zongzi event uh, that will be coming to us on the 8th, which is going to be this weekend, and it'll be going into the 28th. And so we'll take a look at, at her right now. Uh, so basically, she is going to be a five-star rifle that you can see up here in this. Oh, just kidding. You can't see in that top right-hand corner. Anyway, she's a five-star rifle. Don't worry about it. Let's take a look at her skills because those are all that matters. So she's going to have the decreased skill cooldown 18%. Okay, that's great. I do like this because if you put her in the seven position, you should, in theory, have two handguns right here. So they will get that decrease. So looking at her skill, the passive says, after your skill cooldown, Tax drone will mark a random enemy. Marked enemy changes every second. The active says, snipes the marked enemy for 4.5 damage. This attack can crit. The only thing that I could see being kind of annoying is let's say the drone goes here, 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 and then it's just moving all over the place. You do not want this to be sitting on a normal auto skill type of function because you could easily mess up and what if it lands on someone who's like half health and then you shoot at them when you've got somebody else who's full health so this is again using that interactivity to make sure you know what you're aiming for know what you're doing and it kind of can't let you afk away from the fight tack 50 in theory can do a lot of damages i like what i'm seeing from her uh, i think that she could be really fun to play with but like i said earlier uh for the spr or whatever the the four star rifles name was uh at this current point in time we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with the rifles that we already have so unless you're looking for non-meta stuff then by all means go for uh using this character in your teams but the meta is meta for a reason and they're gonna be the optimal ones for a reason but tac 50 in theory can be pretty viable in my personal opinion of course now guys by no means uh do i think that these dolls are should be 100 throw everything that you got at them i think you can get k11 over time i feel you can get 64 shiki over time spr isn't that big of a deal jericho isn't that big of a deal especially jericho you can get her over time with cheap um pulls for the handgun pulls 64 shiki k2 uh and k11 all five star ars you can do those over time i don't you know maybe you throw 50 maybe you throw 75 contracts but i think saving on this batch is going to be the better move to do and then picking up tac 50 for free through the event by all means but personally i'll probably throw 50 at it just for a video see if i can get the ars in one fell swoop of 50 rolls and then go from there personally like i said i don't think that this is something you go all in for i think you just do a little bit here a little bit there call it a day and move on about your business and then wait for the next batch of t-dolls these t-dolls are cool they're beautiful they are very different and they're definitely a more interactive group of t-dolls with their skills but i think that they are just going to be a little too much for these little bit of baby enemies that we're fighting right now maybe these will pop off later in the future but as of right now i don't really see them being too extremely op and this is all just my opinion i could be just vastly wrong uh, but that's just my opinion of what this little brief analysis is uh showing me while i'm reading and talking about it guys that's gonna be it for me if you do want to see more gfl content feel free to hit that subscribe button to the youtube channel also i do stream gfl at twitch.tv slash tuglo you can see the times underneath the webcam here and i do stream from those times until the early morning last but not least if you do have amazon prime and you'd like to support your boy monetarily for free you can do so by connecting your amazon prime account to your twitch account and then subscribing to me over at twitch.tv tv slash tuglo and i would greatly appreciate all the help that you know the amazon prime gives of course guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate the support a lot and that'll do it for me so as always much love god bless and peace out